is our main event of the evening between the Sniper and El Diablo. Our tale of the day for this lightweight championship fight, El Diablo is 20, the Sniper is 28. El Diablo will have a five inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter. He stands 16 feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Pohang, South Korea, Presenting the challenger, Nakamura. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, the Taekwondo fighter. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Seoul, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Sniper. All right, this is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a there long go, time. And it is going to go down go, right go. now. Championship fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. White trunks for El Diablo. Black trunks for the champion. Joe, we have seen many title fights over the year, but few have been as much anticipated as this matchup. Bad blood back and forth. Two of the best fighters ever to compete in the octagon. Only one man will leave with the belt. It is impossible to overemphasize how important this fight is and what implications this title fight has for the entire sport. This is one of the biggest bouts of the year, if not ever. He's back up. Good job with the leg kick. He's able to parry that away. Changing stances. Solid jab by the sniper. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, he caught him early. Side to side. Oh, There's big head kick, kick. Joe. Oh, nice he landed uppercut. an uppercut. Beautiful hook. Oh, that one hurt him. Wow. Oh, he missed that kick. Powerful strikes. Oh, solid jab. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Lands a huge kick. Vicious shot to the body. Oh, oh head kick. Off the kick. Oh, oh, he got rocked. This could be it. Oh, oh he got rocked. Oh, my goodness. Oh, very nice. Timing with his 
strikes. Just over two on the clock. Looking for an angle. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. Oh! Now he's looking wow. to finish. Oh, he's right. Oh, that one dropped him. And it is over. Wow! And he got the victory from ruthless, brutal ground and pound. Once again, here's our fight replay. Let's take a look at it one more time. Here's the knockdown, vicious strike. Great angle here. Boom! Out cold. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Sniper. The Sniper remains the UFC lightweight champion.